What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about Mullen Automotive. Once again, that's Mullen Automotive with a ticker symbol M-U-L-M. -M. So guys, today Mullen started green, then it went to red, then after that it went to green at the end of the day. Guys, if you like information and analysis that I'm providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Okay guys, so let's get going. So guys, today Mullen closed at a price of $1.48. Like I said earlier, it started green, then it went red. Then, of course, it went positive with 5.71% increase. So this is not a lot, guys. I just feel like the market makers are trying to make Mullen investors excited ahead of next week's trading days. But I'll take this any time of the day, guys, okay? So if you uh, go to uh, Market Beat, it will tell us that Mullen has a five-day performance of negative 31.71%, a one-month performance of negative 55.44%, a three-month performance of 56.62%. But guys, personally speaking, this doesn't bother me. The price actually is not bothering me as I am long in Mullen. I love Mullen, okay? Now, if you go to Fintel.io, your short interest Float is 12.40%. Off exchange short volume is 22,688,489 shares. And off exchange short volume ratio of 33.81%. So, guys, if all, if any, to all those who are Mullen um, fanatics, right? For, for all those who are Mullen long, I think you should you guys should follow David Mishri. He is also in Twitter, right? So, I'm following him right now. Yeah. It looks like people are speculating about EVgo fast charging network and Mullen partnership. So we don't have any official press release on this one. But as you can see, EVgo themselves tweeted this. We were looking forward to seeing that Mullen 5 hit the streets in 2024. With an estimated range of 325 miles, the 5 can charge at 0 to 80% in 21 minutes. And we got the network to keep Mullen to keep future Mullen drivers going. So guys, as you can see, here's the tweet, the tweet of uh, EVgo, right? And also, if you scroll down here, David Mishery on April 18, he also tweeted out the uh, retrofit of high-voltage facility to begin for production of EV battery packs to support Mullen EV programs, Mullen 1 EV cargo, bands, Mullen 5 EV crossover, and Dragonfly. As I said earlier, Mullen wants to make their batteries in-house due to uh, due to uh, <coughs> This due to uh, production costs, supply chain problems, right? So I think they, they knew the uh, importance of doing this in-house and uh, they're, they're doing it right now as far as we're all concerned. Of course, guys, the price, there's a, I mean, a good price action uh, today. Uh, so for uh, this writing, it's Friday. It says here, Molin Automotive is a worthwhile risky bet. This art article is from Investor Place. There you go, guys, Investor Place. It says here, significant growth plans and expectation of a positive battery report bodes well for the company. You scroll down here guys it says here Mullen automotive is a development stage company the firm primarily manufactures and distributes evs in us it also owns digital platform car hub that facilitates interactive solution to a consumer for making decisions to buy or sell a car other than this Mullen battery is for evs and emergency point of care solutions the company got listed in nasdaq on november 2021 and has been on a downward spiral since then well guys uh, there's nothing you can do about it even though it's down because we are in a bearish market situation right as you can see in a bearish market situation even the market makers are trying to take advantage of retail well this is just my personal opinion okay the market makers could be taking advantage of retail investors of course if the market is red they they they, they can they can come up with articles they can come up with short selling right even the hindenburg research so uh, like i said before hindenburg research definitely know what's the best time of putting down their short sell report so it says here the short seller hindenburg research accused the company for misinterpreting its test results for solid state batteries the activists also noted that research and development investment figures on s on solid state batteries are significantly lower than what other players have already spent however tom gage ceo of the company that performed tests clarified that he believes mullen did not misrepresent the battery test results Investment in this already beaten down stock can be considered due to the following reasons. The short ratio of Mullen stock is 11.82% as of March 30, 2022. This is high. A short sellers buy the stock to square the position, it can spur the stock price. So, uh, personally speaking, uh, if uh, Hindenburg Research have a short position with Mullen, they could be, I don't know, if, if they have uh, some profits all the way from $4 going down, good for them, right? Right? Of course, if a short 
long-term investor, then that should scare you. But if you're long in Mullen and you want Mullen to grow in your portfolio, I think that's another story once again, okay? So the company's recent announcement to start testing solid its solid-state polymer batteries with Battery Innovation BIC in Indiana reflects optimism, okay? This is a very positive article. BIC is known for development, testing, and commercialization of safe and reliable energy storage systems for defense and commercial customers. Management expects to share the outcome in early May 2022. Any positive development can catapult the stock to new highs. So guys, we are waiting for that one PR and it could be anytime soon, okay? So we uh, we could we could we could be waiting for the Fortune 500 uh for the Fortune 500 uh, report or press release. We could also be waiting for a report that the, uh, the the share offering is done right the stock offering is done once that's done then we can see we can, we can start seeing an upward momentum in the stock usually guys if there's a share offering going on the stock price will relatively stay at low levels once they release the report that the share offering is done it will spike up and which is really good for the stock as well okay so it says here it is also developing Mullen Dragonfly which is an electric high performance sports car okay so uh, at the end of Q2 Mullen reported over 65 million in cash and cash equivalents which is adequate High, higher cash flow will allow the company to carry out its business plan so we're gonna we're gonna check that out guys pretty soon okay so uh, uh, we will have an earnings report okay uh, i will read you the article this article is from benzinga so guys uh I would like to thank these guys who are posting the earnings report for Mullen. Hopefully this is true, but th a shout out to Manny. He uh, posted this uh, screenshot. It says here, when is Mullen Automotive uh, reporting earnings? Mullen Automotive Q2's earnings are confirmed for aftermarket on May 4, 2022. So he did screenshot this. Okay, so uh, we will hear more about that in uh, you know future in my future videos. But thanks to this guy, Manny. Uh, there's a lot of bots over Twitter, but okay, the, the Prodigy, this one is also good as far as uh, sending us tweets, okay, and also this guy here, the, uh, okay, Monetary Rab, okay, Monetary Rab, Mullen, 2021 run started at $1.47 and running to May, now in 2022, holds the $1.40 level nicely, I would like, I would love to see another run up this year, especially with earnings and an announcement coming in May 2022, okay. Everybody should be excited on those dates, okay? So shout out also to those people in Reddit, uh, you know, user Reddit, user Hanimon who uh, did post this. Okay, this from Benzinga. When is Mullen Automotive not earnings? They will be reporting earnings on May 4 of 2022. So like I said, guys, uh, if you are excited, I'm also very, very excited. For me, the Mullen itself on its own is a very, very exciting investment as, you know, I, uh, I was late. You know, I wish I knew Tesla back then. Now I would like to... Uh, Consider, I'm not trying to compare Tesla and Mullen, but uh, I'd like to see Mullen grow in my portfolio as an, as a huge EV company, okay? And one more article, okay, before the, uh, we end uh, the Friday session, the Friday, my Friday video, says here, government expanding electric vehicle rebate program to include trucks, vans, and SUVs. So program offers 5,000 rebate for new electric vehicle purchases. So like I said before, guys, any country in the world, they plan, they, they, they want the, uh, the whole world to be uh, carbon free and of course everybody is doing something about it and one of them is making programs like this a five thousand dollar rebate for new electric vehicle purchases so what what, what are we expecting with uh, molen ahead of next week's trading day as you can see guys this chart seems to be very very exciting if you go to your daily time frame here we have this one green candle and we have a huge support at one dollar and 33 cents Okay, so if we break that down, you can clearly see here that we are in an upward trend in a four hour time frame. Okay, so our next level of resistance is around here, around your $1.64. That will be our next level of resistance. Everybody's very, very excited with Mullen, $1.64. We should keep an eye on that. Okay, so uh, and if you break that down in one hour time frame it's very very cool I was, I'm looking at some green green candles next week our volume for today is around 63.29 million but you know the guys this is very very low compared to our average volume for the past three months of 131.47 million okay so our RSI we still have a lot of room to the upside we are currently in neutral stage at 42.84 
Okay, so we are not overbought. We are not even oversold. Some people always want to look at the RSI in a four hour time frame. So it's very, very clear that look, we still have a lot of room to the upside. So guys, let me thank all those people in Twitter and in Reddit who always give me an insight in what to put in my content like I said earlier before I mean like I always say even before in my past videos without you guys okay my videos will not be possible okay so guys once again if you like the information that I'm providing you in this video the information and analysis that I'm providing you in this video please hit the like and subscribe button once again guys this is your boy Don Leo Craze I love you all peace out